All right, in this video, we're going to use range as a way of uh, measuring the spread of data. And we've got the same example that we looked at, at the previous in the previous video. We have two classes, class A and class B, who completed a quiz. Now, the results of this quiz are given in the table below. The scores are out of 10. And you can also see them below as dot plots. This is class A as a dot plot, and this is class B as a dot plot plot. We mentioned that this score of 10 is an outlier because it's very different to these other scores here and we can see this outlier below. All right so example one wants you to calculate the range for the two mass classes above and then it says is this a good indicator for the spread of data why slash why not. So what I actually want to do is I want to calculate the range first for class B and, and there's a reason I'm doing this. We see the formula is highest score minus lowest score. Now the highest score is 9 and the lowest score is 1. So we're going to go 9 minus 1 equals 8. So what does this 8 essentially mean? Well, if we look at class B and think of that word range, what does it range between? And we notice that the smallest score is 1 and the largest score is 9. It ranges between 1 and 9. And there is a distance of 8 between this 1 and 9. The larger the distance implies that it's more spread out, the smaller the distance implies that my data is close together. Okay, so we give this a range score of, of 8 to talk about how spread out the data is. Now let's look at range, the range of um, class A, range of A. And for this one, the largest score is 10 and the smallest score is 0. Now 10 minus 0 is 10, implying that I've got quite a wide range, a range of 10. Now that's quite misleading for class A because most of the data really has a range of 4 if we look at it here. If you were to ignore the outlier, that's what the range would have given you. The outlier has skewed our results and made class A look more spread out than class B. When really it's it's got a class A is closer together, more grouped together. So when it said is this a good indicator for the spread of the data, the answer is no. So we'll say no, the range is not a good indicator. Of the range of this data. And it asks why. It says why slash why not. Um, and we'll say why. So the range is not a good indicator of the range of this data. I don't know why I put a comma there. Because the outlier. skews the result for class A.